Hi, this is Pastor Blair with Tactical Pulpit. Uh, today I want to do a video, kind of, I guess you'd say a review, maybe a show and tell, but on a new uh, purchase I got. This is the uh, Springfield Hellcat. Um, so I want to I want to kind of go over this a little bit, and specifically, I guess, uh, to contrast it against uh, my prior carry gun, which is the uh, Springfield XD Mod 2. And just kind of go over some things, um, some things that I like more, some things that I wish it had carried over. I don't know if you'd say carried over because it's not necessarily a replacement, but uh, some things I wish it had that the Mod 2 does and ultimately why I made the decision. So, uh, obviously this will not be an unbiased review because I have researched it and um, went out and bought this gun because I wanted it, uh, because I saw some, the, the pros outweighing the cons, but just kind of go over some of that, especially focusing on the Hellcat in case somebody's in the same boat I was looking for some information. So um, let's start by going over uh, side by side comparison against the two. Um, and it's, as you'll see, number one, uh, this is a 40 uh, Smith & Wesson and the Hellcat's a nine. Uh, so it's not going to be apples to apples necessarily across the board, but in my mind, I, up, I uh, not upgraded, I shouldn't say that either, but I, I replaced that mod to with the Hellcat, and, and I just want to show you why. So let's start by going, uh, taking a closer look at the Hellcat. Okay, okay for starters, um, I, uh, I mentioned this is a 9, and... Uh, the XD Mod 2 is a 40. Um, I just want to be transparent here. I far prefer the 9mm caliber to 40 um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, recoil management. Um, not that the 40 is uncontrollable, but especially in a uh, compact, more compact gun, uh, you can feel the buck. Well, in number two, uh, these two magazines, if you can see the size difference, are the same uh, round capacity. This is an 11 round uh, 40 out of the Mod 2 and this is a 11 round 9 millimeter. So you can see the difference there, difference in weight. Um, Alright, so let's just jump right to it. Some of the pros. Um, <clears throat> some of the pros on these guns, on these, on these pistols. Okay, so the footprint of the gun is very, very similar. You can see what this is the extended uh, magazine from the Mod 2, but otherwise very similar footprints. But however, it's when you look at them this way and you can see the difference in the thicknesses between the Wildcat and the XD Mod 2. And I'm guessing the 9mm and the 40 are built on the same frame, so it's not just this thick because it's a 40. But after daily carrying for a couple years on this, this, this slimmer profile gun just had such appeal to it. And that was, um, and not only that, but being a 9mm also, um, were probably two of the largest factors in, that, in making that decision. Um, okay, so I want to show you a couple quick things on this um, Mod 2. Okay. A, couple of things is, and now it's unloaded, but there's this uh, loaded, loaded chamber indicator here, right? And here you have the little, uh, the little peep, right? And this you have the mechanical lever. And I far prefer this. Um, a couple of, re and the, and the uh, cocking indicator in the back here, if you can see that. So this gun is cocked, and I'll show you here, right? We're unloaded. Um, if you can see that, and it there's nothing there. You can feel it there. Okay, so a couple of things I like is in the dark or without taking my eyes off a situation, I can, I can tell you. And sure, uh, you should always carry uniformly. Whether you want one in the chamber or not, it should always be the same. But, you know, when you're putting things, taking things apart, putting them together every night, every morning, putting it back in, um, it's just that peace of mind, okay? There's one in the chamber and it's cocked, this gun's ready to go. And I didn't have to take my eyes off, you know, if it's, if it's dark out, uh, this, this little uh, peep is not much help. And there's nothing in the back of this one to indicate uh, cocked or otherwise. So um, that's one of, the, 
one of the disadvantages, I guess, where I preferred that mod to over this, but uh, here's something else interesting is um, I have, <clears throat> I want to talk about just hand purchase on these, how the, the ergonomics and how the hand fits, and I've got, you know, medium large size hands. Um, this with the extended magazine is, is a good fit. Can you see that underneath there? That, that fits good now. Um, with the with the nine round, so this is a nine round. <clears throat> uh, I just I don't carry it this way, right? It's nice to have in the pocket as backup, except for the fact that it weighs 40 pounds. But I just I just don't have as good of a. It's just so close right there. I just can't quite grab it, and it just is an awkward awkward feeling there, right? Ah, so. Um, this, I didn't mention this, this is the smaller of the two magazines, and I have, I mean, I, no, it's, it's maybe just a, a, a quarter inch or less, but, I mean, I can't make my finger slide, my pinky finger slide off the bottom of that, it, it fits, right? So this is the, the 11 round, um, the one I carry in it is the 13 round, you can see that, and that gives you doesn't change a whole lot, but it's just a solid purchase, right? And on a smaller gun. So I don't, I don't know, and I was looking at them before, from the trigger guard down, there's just a, there's just a, I, I don't know if you can see that, but a, a vast difference between these two. Well, now I've got the longer magazine in there, but even with the, <clears throat> just a vast difference from trigger guard on down uh, between these two. And it's just a more secure, uh, tighter grip with that Hellcat. Okay, um, just kind of bouncing back and forth, pros and cons. Um, I didn't realize this when I uh, uh, bought it, but um, I bought it. I bought this uh, Kydex sheath. This is, I believe it's a local company. It's got a local phone number on there, but um, I don't even know the name of the company. But one thing I noticed was uh, I... I don't carry appendix, but I thought this is a smaller gun. I'm going to try to carry this appendix. Oh, this stipled hand grip, you know, oh, that just chewed me up, right? And so I did that for one day and never again. And and there's a reason I carry in the small of my back, and uh, I'll get into the reason of that later, right? And I know probably a lot of you guys hate that, but I do have a good reason for doing that. Um, <clears throat> so basically. I wanted a 9. The reason I have this 40 is when I went to upgrade, I had a SIG 229 in 40, which was a 7 plus 1, which I thought, ah, just I wish I had some more capacity there. I went to upgrade at my local gun store. All he had this mod to in was 40. And at the time I thought, well, I would have preferred a 9, but I have all this 40 ammo, so let's go with the 40. And that's what I did. And and if, honestly, yeah, I kind of regretted it ever since. Um, I wouldn't mind just cleaning my arsenal out of 40 completely. I don't think the ballistics of a 40 are that much superior to a 9 to justify the added recoil and the lower capacity. That's my opinion. Okay, I'm not, I don't bash 40s. I mean, I've, I've, I guess this is the only one I currently have, but um, I, I wouldn't mind phasing out of them. So... <clears throat> Uh, just a smaller gun, a lighter gun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot it a little bit. Um, not so much for accuracy. I have shot it. It's plenty accurate, accurate for me. Uh, as accurate, uh, if, if there's any inaccuracy issues, it's, I, it's safe to say it's not the gun's fault. It'd be my fault. Um, another huge pro on this, oh, if I scoot out of the way, is this sight. Oh, isn't that cool? It's just, boom. It's loud. It's bright. It's right there. Good night sight. Um, <clears throat> this isn't terrible. Uh, my rear sights are a little dirty, all right, real dirty. And if, especially in the daylight, the the fiber optic on there, whatever you'd call that, catches catches pretty good light. Now, one of the one of the disadvantages we have going on for us today is this. Uh, I don't know if you, the camera's picking that up, but <clears throat> we are. Uh, smoked out here in northern Minnesota. Now whether it's a fire up north in the states, I, I guess I don't know. Last I heard this was smoke blown down from Canada and it kind of just blew in sometime last night. This is the second time in the last couple of weeks we just woke up to a... When you're driving down the highway you literally have half mile visibility. It's just uh, all smoky and 
smells of smoke and I looked at the the uh, air quality index today said very hazardous so <laughs> okay this is aside from the guns but I told you I bought this Kydex holster at the same time I bought that Hellcat and I have this really cheap uh, I don't know if you know that brand Galco uh, really cheap leather inside they both inside the waistband holsters um, yeah, not that this was super expensive, but um, I far prefer the leather to Kydex, right? Especially in the small of my back. Um, this this just kind of grinds on you throughout the course of the day. I don't. I know this is more uh, tactical and cooler, but um, I think what I'm going to do is search out a maybe even this same one. This is used and abused. This is old. It's always served me well. Um, I might search out a Gelco that fits the Hellcat. So. Just, just something in a side there. So, um, like I said, the big magazine on this one is uh, 13 rounds. The big magazine on this one <coughs> is 11 rounds, right? And even in the two big ones, there's a significant difference. So, uh, just the smaller, slimmer profile was the <coughs> number one pro that uh, I just I couldn't pass up. Um, it's I, so I've been carrying this, but well, I should tell you about, I would say two weeks now. Um, the takedown is the same. Um, it's got this, like Springfields do, very simple takedown, like the SIGs, similar to the SIG, um, which I, I prefer than the, the, like the Glock style. Um, <clears throat> and, okay, so now I'm going to shoot, and the reason for me even shooting in this video is just to kind of show you the the recoil on this and I might even shoot the 40 just for a side-by-side -side comparison on that so um, from here I think we'll we'll just shoot them uh, I've got I probably got over a hundred rounds through this um, since I got it a couple weeks ago um, this one I, I couldn't even tell you what I have um, through through this so uh, many hundreds if not even thousands over the I don't even know how long I've had it two or three years so or maybe even longer than that really so it served me well I'm not gonna bash this gun I'm just <clears throat> when I saw this I thought you know what to me personally this is an upgrade to that gun um, smaller more compact better to carry I remember the day when um, as a younger man I thought I need a full frame gun I don't care I can conceal it I'll carry it around all day and those days have, you know that ship has sailed um, and s something that you can get that's small, comfortable, and still shoots well, that's a treasure. So that's what I think I have here in this Hellcat. Maybe as time progresses, I'll find more cons with it, but I'll, I would definitely keep you posted. I've been pleased with it, so let's go shoot this now. Okay, I said I was going to touch on why I carry in the small of my back rather than uh, appendix. And <clears throat> I've, I've had uh, shoulder trouble since I was about 19, uh, years old in the service and so my uh, rotator cuff is a, uh, is a rotator cuff is a series of four muscles and I have one and a half still working and so one of the things interestingly that I can't do is turn my elbow at 90 degrees and touch my stomach right uh, I have plenty of strength like if I'm doing firewood stacking wood something like that lifting something straight up above picking something up I've got plenty of strength, but there's just some positions that are uh, that I have no stability in. And so, rather than drawing like this, and I know this sounds goofy, but <clears throat> I draw left-handed, and I've practiced this, so I, it does take a little longer, I guess, if you had a stopwatch and you're recording it. I draw left-handed and shove that gun into my right hand and, and fix the, uh, the grip. So, drawing left-handed, shoving it into my right hand, takes a little bit longer but uh, I think it's actually quicker than or, or fumbling or getting my elbow in the right position like literally this would be the right position to draw and I still have to have a little pressure on my hand so I carry in the small of my back it, it just works out better for me personally um, okay I'm gonna shoot these guns and I'm gonna start with the with the 40 to uh, fire just a couple rounds three rounds through the 40 just to give you an idea uh, a comparison and then I'll jump right to the nine and we'll compare that so <clears throat> I've got to grab some ammo
Now we'll jump right to the 9 and we can hopefully see a, a pretty good comparison in recoil at least. Yeah, I don't know if you could see that, but you can definitely feel the, the difference in recoil between the uh, the Hellcat in 9 and the Mod 2 in 40. Um, <clears throat> so, um, but shoots nice. I don't know if you can see the target. I didn't, I, like I said, this wasn't about accuracy, and so I, I'm not proud of the job I did. I didn't do a, uh, not real tight on there, but 1, 2, 3, 4. Hopefully I use the same hole in a couple of those shots. But. Okay, in close, um, nine millimeter. That's not Springfield's fault that I have. A, I'm comparing a 40 and a nine. I prefer the nine. So I guess I'm comparing this gun and that gun in that aspect. Uh, it's much thinner. Carries much better. The finger purchase. I can fit every finger on this with both magazines, with both the 11 and the 13, and the mod two. There's nothing for my little finger to grab with the smaller of the two magazines. Um, it, it shoots nice, um, but it just carries so nice. Um, so that, I guess that's my, my comparison between the two and, and my halfway review on the uh, Springfield Armory Hellcat pistol. Thanks for watching. Uh, hey, do comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff if you would. So thank you.